Good morning. I'm Issam Dukawi, PhD student from University of Sidi Mohammed bin Abdullah, Faculty of Science, Dalmaraz, Fez, Morocco. The topic of my presentation today is vanadium oxide nanoparticles prepared by microwave synthesis for energy storage with improved electrochemical performance. The measurements have been done at University City in Fez, Morocco, in collaboration with Ethan Balabs in South Africa. My presentation is divided into four sections. Firstly, I will start by an introduction. Secondly, I will explain to you how prepared our vanadium oxide nanostructures. Thirdly, I will present to you our results from different characterization. And finally, I will end by a small conclusion. One dimensional nanostructures with different morphologies, for example, nano roots, nano wires, nano tubes, and nano belts have attracted considerable attention due to their specific physical, chemical, and electrical properties. In this category, vanadium oxide is one of the promising materials. Then, the development of vanadium oxide nanoparticles provide an important milestone to improve the application performance of metal oxide nanomaterials in different fields such as electrocatalysis, lithium-ion battery, energy storage, and photovoltaic devices. Many synthesis methods were used to prepare vanadium oxide nanoparticles, therefore the microwave method is successful in terms of controlling the chemical composition, particle shape and crystallite size. In addition to prepare different phases of vanadium oxide nanoparticles including VU2R, VU2B and V6O13, we start by V2O5 as precursor for the first operating mode we use hydrazine as solvent, on the contrary, in the second operating mode, the solvent is ethanol. After searing, the final product was weighted with a sieve bar and placed on a rack. The rack is fitted on the chamber top with a mechanical sealer, which is lowered automatically into the single reaction microwave chamber. The mixer was treated at 230 degrees Celsius for different time. The first technique to investigate the phases and structures of our vanadium oxide nanostructures is X-ray diffraction. Then, the growth condition have a great influence on the formation of the final products. So, the XRD of vanadium oxide nanoparticles prepared by microwave synthesis using hydrazine as a refractor show a high crystallinity occurred at 19 minutes revealing that V5 plus ions in V2O5 have been reduced to V4 plus ions by hydrazine in the reaction. The second image showed X-ray diffraction of VO2R and the aniline process. We observed that we have similar phase of VO2R at 200 degrees Celsius accompanied by an increase in the intensity of XRD spectrum. However, for 3 and 400 degrees Celsius, we observed that the peak of VO2R vanished, which is confirming that the structure was modified with the appearance of vanadium pentoxide peaks. Moreover, the transition of crystal phase from VO2R to V2O5 in our experiments occurred at 500 degrees Celsius. X-ray diffraction was used to investigate the phases and structures of vanadium oxide nanoparticles at different times and under aniline treatment. As we can see in the first image, vanadium oxide nanoparticles are grown and formed at 60 minutes, revealing the existence of two phases, VO2B plus V6O13. However, after aniline treatment at 500 degrees Celsius, we observed that the peak of V6O13 vanished and all the peak could be indexed as the monoclinic VO2B. Hence, our results show that times and temperature are two main factors in controlling the phases and structures of vanadium oxide nanoparticles. Now I would like to move on to the morphological properties and this is our results from scanning electron microscopy. For the first and second image we can see that the phases 
is amorphous, confirming that vanadium oxide nanoparticles are not grown and formed during the synthesis. At 90 minutes, the same image showing a nanoparticle modification on the morphology with an increase in time. Geometrical shape is a root with the uniform size distribution, the length up to 2 micrometers and width of about 100 nanometers. If you look at the image of vanadium oxide nanoparticles occurred at 500 degrees Celsius, we can see a number of modification on the morphology of VO2R after anilin process. This result confirms that vanadium oxide nanoroots were grown and transformed to nanospheres like ship and the anilin process. In addition, for vanadium oxide nanoparticles prepared by microwave synthesis using ethanol as a refraction, we can see that after 60 minutes, the same image confirmed the existence of two phases, VO2B nanoroots plus V6 or 13 nanobelts. Then, after aniline treatment, we observe that the nanobeds V6 or 13 vanished and the phase could be assigned to VO2B nanoroots, which was confirmed by XRD observation. Then, for study the electrical properties of our vanadium oxide nanoparticles synthesized by microwave method. We present the IV characteristic at different times. We observe that the conductivity increased with an increase of the applied voltage, which is due to an increase in the mobility of the charge carrier. Furthermore, the increase in the time showing in one hand a large number of charge carriers available for conduction, and in the other hand that the number of defects electronic decrease in vanadium oxide nanoparticles so that the mobility increase. Furthermore, the same behavior observed for VO2R and the aniline process. So this result showed that the principal reason for good electrical conductivity of vanadium oxide nanoparticles film is decreasing the number of electronic defects in a linear way. The XRD is revealing that the time and aniline treatments affect the crystallinity of vanadium oxide nanoparticles, which have an influence on the form, size, and structures of our vanadium oxide nanoparticles. Therefore, the electrical properties showing that the conductivity of vanadium oxide nanoparticles increase with an increase in in the time and temperature respectively, which can be due to the modification of the size, form, and shape of vanadium oxide nanoparticles, which was highly influenced the electrical properties. Hence, the obtained results may lead to better performance for a large field of applications, especially for energy storage devices as lithium-ion battery. Thank you for your attention.